Okay, so it turns out this, this, I want to do this drinking system, right? Uh, Arch Glacial, and it turns out you can do that in hard mode. I, I didn't realize it, it was hard mode a thing. I thought you could do it in normal mode. So how do we activate hard mode? Oh, there we go. Okay, so, yep, it's got hard mode. It's literally the same mechanics, I'm pretty sure, just in rage, so. Okay, let's go. There we go. That is my first ever hard mode, um, hard mode, whatever it's called, Arch Glacial. And I used like two food, so. First loot of the streak is, uh, I love this loot interface though, it's so nice. I'm so glad I haven't got to pick everything off the ground. The yeah, water battle staffs and these things, whatever the fuck they are. They're for my ring, right? Yeah. They're for to upgrade my ring, I'm pretty sure. Oh, um, does this? Five spirit seeds. Jesus. Amazing drop. All. Worth like six and a half mil. Went from 1.5 to 8. Jesus Christ. They must out for a lot of money, fam. That's nice. I desperately need cash, so that's good. That is my Reaper assignment complete and Hydrix Bolt tips. Honestly, I'm 100%. This is. I've literally never done this boss before, apart from the five, five normal mode kills. And I've literally learned to do hard mode 10 minutes ago, and it's like so fucking easy. Like once you, it's, I don't know, it's like an easy version of Telos, right? I feel like obviously 100% is really low, but it's, yeah, it's easy as fuck, man. My god, I'm clicking and clicking to move out of the way and nothing is happening. Holy fuck. Okay, well, it turns out you can't click on, like, the icicle area to move. You need to actually move, like, on normal fucking... Uh, whatever. <sighs> See you, streak. Okay. Wow. I think that's probably rare, right? That's like one of the rare drops, I'm pretty sure. Nice. Okay. That was quick. Um, so we claim that, I think. 75 mil. Yeah, that's that's decent, I think. Nice. There you go. First item from Glacial. How many kills was that? That was really lucky, I think. 5 normal mode and 23 hard mode. Nice. First drop. I think, do we use that book? Is that better? Than, obviously, it's not going to be better than a Grimoire, but I assume it's going to be really good. So, what does it do? On attacking... 6.6% um, chance to summon an Icy Beam for 3.6 seconds. Once target has been killed... Oh, sorry. Once target has been hit five times by the beam, it will shatter for 400%. Let's try it out, man, because I got, I got a few pages from it as well. So, yeah, I may as well. See how good the book is, it'll save me fucking grim pages, right? So, why not? Alright, let's go try this book out, I think. It should be good, right? And, yeah, don't question my Lava Titan, by the way, because I currently haven't got any Ripper Demons. 
And I was using a, an ice night hill, but you've pretty much got 100% accuracy here, so it's pointless. So yeah, I, the only familiar I literally had was a fucking lava titan. Didn't even have a steel titan. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Good okay. It was uh, easy, I guess. Kinda. I assume I get the cape now, right? Pretty sure I get the cape. Uh. No, I don't apparently. Because it wasn't in one run, I, I did die, so could possibly be why I didn't get it, right? In Serenic Scale, Jesus. For 100k each. But yeah, it looks like I didn't get the cape, We go all done that was very easy yeah i did that first row um i didn't realize i couldn't <clears throat> um how long was that 20 22 minutes day 23 but yeah I, I had no idea that you had to do that in one run i didn't realize you couldn't die to get the cape yep anyway i did it literally in the next try with a vampire so yeah uh this one right igneous stone loot from this place is pretty nice but I don't really give a shit about that. I just wanted the cape. And we got the cape now, so yeah, let's go make the cape quickly. This is going to be the magic one because literally Omni Power. I'm pretty sure Omni Power hits like four times once you get the cape. It's, it's nasty as fuck. So if we take my Tokar cape off, which is for magic, I want to use the stone. Uh, yep. Cool. So now Omni Power should be fucking disgusting. So yeah, bolsters the Omni Power ability, reducing the adrenaline cost and causing it to hit four times at reduced at reduced damage. That's nasty. And I think it uses like 60% now instead of 100. Yeah, look at that. 60%. It doesn't use 100% adrenaline anymore. That's fucking that's so nice, bro. That's gonna be so nice to use. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly open some loot. I got a, a few chests, I think. So let's take out the... Also, I'm one more away from upgrading my ring fully because I've upgraded my Enriched Pontifex ring with three different things. i done it with the Arch Glacier ones with a thousand, the Karapak one with a thousand, and the Tazar one with one thousand. So all I need to do is upgrade this for one thousand more with the Croesus, whatever the fuck, that, that skill in boss, yeah. Then I have a fully upgraded ring, so that would be sick. But yeah, we got some loot to open, so let's go ahead. I think this probably increases the chance of shit, right? Sure. Anyway, let's open the tier 1s. Not really sure what to expect. Ooh, restore, they're nice. Don't really know what you're supposed to get from the from Glacial. Okay, so we've got 200k cash and a little bit of loot, I think. Okay. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Oh my god, this is so much fun. Yeah, this is a... Uh... I don't know, man. <laughs> Been doing this for like 20 minutes straight, and I'm bored as fuck. Oh, yeah, I need more of my fungus because I need to make a shitload of um, adrenaline renewals. I'm almost out. Yeah, uh, I came back to Glazor for a bit. Fun, fun. Another new PB. Very nice. Bit of a rough kill, but... Ow. Uh, imagine dying. Well, imagine dying at Arch Glacial. 
Just imagine. Oh my god, are you joking me? Wow, 76 mil. I lost my streak, I died. I just started a new streak and I got another scripture. Oh Jesus, I'm so lucky. What the fuck is that? I'm not even... That's literally a zero kill streak. First kill and it's like 135% rate. Oh my god. Alright, so I was just on uh, Google again, right? Because I, I, I got a comment in my last video about that you can... Um, you can solo carry pack very easily if you just use tank armor on the last phase. And yeah, that's it's, it seems kind of right because I was fine for the whole kit. It's just the last the last phase when you get the minions, I was getting ruined. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna upgrade. We're gonna perk perk out my sea singers. I have acto gloves, acto boots. And I've got an arcane just in case, which we're gonna perk out with uh, lucky six absorbative one, which is apparently really good for spirit shields. And then we've also got the superior reef walkers and superior Leviathan ring. So I can literally wear like full tank armor for the last phase. So it should be very easy if I wear all this. Yeah, we need to get some perks for my armor now, so, um, yeah, I'll be back with that. Okay, so the first perk we need, there's no, for the, t for the tank armor and the, like, DPS armor, there's no real difference in perks, like, it looks like from the top or the legs. It's just the same perks for, like, DPS, so it's fine. So, yeah, the first one we need to make is Relentless 5 Crackling 4. So let's go ahead and do that one. Unfortunately, I haven't got too many of these components. And it's only like a... What's the chance of getting this? I think I've got like a really low percent chance. I have... Uh, Relentless 5 Crackling 4 is a... Jesus. So 1 in 89.6. You get a 1.1% chance to get this one. But I doubt I'm going to try too many times. Alright, yeah. Let's try, try this one. See what happens. Uh, hopefully I can get it. Relentless 5. Hmm. Okay, not good. How many have I got left? I'll try a few more. I don't like waste. But these are really hard to get on an Iron Man, these fucking components. Ah, oh, shit. That's not good. Okay. I might just have to go with like crackling. Yeah, I've got none left. I'm probably just gonna have to go with crackling or something because, or probably relentless is better than crackling. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm not gonna go fucking so sort of spend like five hours gathering materials now. So it will do for now. It's just gonna be for the last phase of Keraprax, so It doesn't need to be perfect. All right. So I, um, yeah, this was what I did I, on my C Singer top. I just put. Relentless 5 and Crackling 4 on in two different perks. Just because the next one on the list is Biting 4. And unfortunately, I haven't got any Nox components. Well, I could destroy some because I got a shitload of Nox, Nox weapons, but yeah, it's, it's not going to happen. I'm just going to. My top is going to be Relentless 5, Crackling 4 in two different slots. It's fine. Yeah, so my plan, my plan pretty much went down the drain. It's like, I don't know, I just spent like 800k trying to get culinary components so I can get invigorating. So we've got two tries to get an invigorating perk, and if we can't get it, then we can't get it. I'm not too worried. So we're trying for invigorating for mobile. For that, we need uh, two, three, four, five, six. Six of these, and then we need one of these, Oceanic. Uh, a subtle, I think, and uh, this one. Yeah, Dexterous, one of these, and that's that's all. But we got a chance to get Invigorating 4 Mobile. We've got two tries, so good luck. Nice. Invigorating 4 Mobile. So that is going to go on my legs. Invigorating 4 Mobile. But then the options are, I had one of these in my Gizmo bags, which is Impatient 4. However, in my Gizmo bag, I also have a spare biting perk. I have uh, biting four somewhere. Uh, where do I find it? Biting three, biting three mobile. I had a biting four, I'm sure I did. 
Yeah, there we go. So I've got a biting four as well. So the question is, we're going to use this squad, this one, invigorating a mobile. Question is, do we use either biting four or impatient four? Because obviously impatient gives my basic ability is more adrenaline, but then biting four is just like a higher, higher chance to crit someone. So yeah, I'm not too sure. I think the best option would be the biting, but I think I'm just going to use the impatient now. Because when I'm in when I'm in like this armor, like all of this tank armor, I'm not going to be expecting to crit crit opponents. Yeah, so I'm not even going to waste the biting for now. Put that back in the bag, and we're just going to use uh, impatient for and invigorating for. Change of plans again. I literally forgot about enhanced devoted. I was going to get devoted for impatient for, but I didn't have any Zamorak components. So I think we're going to try and get enhanced devoted for. There we go. So I got enhanced devoted for. And I got a level, apparently 137 invention. Okay, so I think this one has to be on there, right? Enhanced devoted four. That's like a hundred percent yes. We need this. Minimum. That's gonna go on there without a doubt. Then the question is the next one, either invigorating or impatient. I think Um I'm gonna auto attack a lot, I think. But I'm also gonna use a lot of basics. I don't know. This has got mobile on, so I'm just going to use this for now. Fuck it. It doesn't really matter too much. Cause, like I said, it's just going to be on the last phase of carry pack. So, yeah. We have a Relentless 5, Crackling 4, and Enhanced Devoted 4, Invigorating 4. Well, not the best perks, but it'll do. And then on my shield, we are going to put... Uh, we're going to take off Turtling. We're going to put on the uh, Lucky 6 of Absorptive. There we go, there's a, a lucky six absorbers of one, which is just going to go straight on the spirit shield. So this is going to be my new hard mode. Pretty much the same as before, right? Apart from now I have the uh, Omni Power Cape. And now I have a full uh, tank armor switch, as well as animate. So I'm going to keep these runes in my inventory, and I'll, I'll cast the spell just before the kill. And then on the last phase, I'll just switch over to my tank armor, which honestly gives me 12,500 life points, which is insane, plus like a lot more defense. And I got some nice perks on there as well, not the best, but decent perks. I'm probably not going to use the gloves actually, but I think Cinder Bains are probably just going to be better overall, because it's going to be more DPS. Yeah, I'll bank the out because of the gloves for now. Maybe the blasts as well. I think I'll just use blasts. 84 armor compared to 122. It's not much difference. But yeah, fuck it. I'll just keep blasts on as well. I'm not going to bother with Acto. I'll just do the three-piece C-Singer switch. Yeah, it should be, it'll still be fine, right? Yeah, before each kill, I'm going to cast Animate Dead Spell, which lasts for 12 minutes. Which just increases my... Basically, I'm not sure what it does, actually. It... Uh... 10% of his armor has a flat damage reduction. And 33% of your defense level is a flat damage reduction and it lasts for 12 minutes. Yeah, this is going to be really good. Hopefully it doesn't deactivate when I build this. No, it doesn't. So yeah, I'm just going to wield this. I'm just going to activate the spell at the start of each kill. Just before I go in. Bank for more food as well. Like, I'll cast the spell at the bank and then take up with more food. But yeah, that's going to be... Uh, I think the, these three pieces should help a lot. I'm not sure if I'm going to bring my ring switch. Tape switch on. Probably not, right? Got a superior Leviathan and then superior Re Reef Walker's Cape, but for now I'm just going to try these three pieces and hopefully it helps. But yeah, I'm going to try hard mode carry pack now. Good luck. Wow, that was a lot easier. A pretty long kill, but yeah, the actual kill was smooth, man. Really nice. 28 adrenaline crystals, that's insane. And a tier 3 trove. Wow, really good loot. I still use the shitload of supplies, but obviously, that's because like my kill times are pretty long because now I have to camp. Uh, bank on me, yeah. Still, that went really good, honestly.
that's another code done. Another tier 3 throw, lovely. Yeah, the loot here is insane, honestly. I'm loving it. Another tier 3. There we go, it's another code done. 500k cash, nice. That is another tier 3 trove, beautiful. Oh, another one done. Another tier 3. Really nice kill. Honestly, that last kill was insane. If you saw my yak, I still had like all of it apart from minus like four. Genuinely, that last kill, it, genuinely, this armor is such a big difference. I would go invertus and I would em leave with an empty yak after each kill. I'll pick it up. I'll get quicker. Yeah, but it was really nice. It's a lot easier now. I'm using <laughs> these singers. All right, so we got some XP coming up. So that is 305k hardcore XP. I am almost uh, under one mil until 120 so i have um four more trows in my bank i did open one i got 12 super stores so we got four left i'm not sure if i should use lock of the doors or this pontifex ring because it is enriched it's got tier three luck yeah i think this is probably better than lock of the doors so yeah let's open it and see what we can get battle stars Okay, five battle stars. Very slow kill, but crow, sorry. So I'm happy about that. Ooh, nearly 500k cash too. Not too bad. Yeah, I'm just going to talk over this clip real quick because this is where I first realized how time warp actually works. Like how you can activate it and then use devotion and dump all your adrenaline on like the best abilities and then you get it, everything back, including like your ability cooldowns. So yeah, after I found this out, like my kill times increased like a lot. Very nice, very nice kill. One mil cash, Jesus. What the fuck? <laughs> Whole mil cash fam. Yeah, I'll take that, thanks. Wow, 1,100 cannonballs, what the fuck? And 700k just in the red, uh, this stuff. Alcohol stuff. That's insane fam. Okay, it's another kill done. Beautiful. Okay, that's uh, pretty much the end of my aura now. Yeah, some more cannonballs. Yeah, I'm still trying to. I'm still trying to perfect this time warp mechanic. Once I get like a little bit more experience at this boss, I'll stop using a yak, and I'll start just like wearing DPS armor and bring a Ripper demon or a Calgarian demon. And hopefully I'll be able to get like four or five minute kills. So that'll be sick. Because on the last phase I can use devotion back to back, so I have like 20 seconds to deal 200k damage. So for that whole time I can just wear DPS armor and probably sunshine and just like ruin him. But yeah, that's the plan. I'll get there eventually. If you've got any tips for like hard mode carry pack the last phase, definitely definitely drop them in the comments because yeah I'm still kind of new to this boss, so like any tips will help. My kill times would be a lot quicker if I had like a greater concentrated blast and a Fasoa. <laughs> anyway, that's going to be all for this video. It's already pretty long. It's already 24 minutes. Um, yeah, I'm trying not to make it too long. Regardless, hopefully it was uh, enjoyable and I'll see you in the next one.